up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Lucky Luck, the lover boy. Um, just want to make a quick video. I actually just made a video uh, about it, but I, I, I didn't know uh, maybe if I should abbreviate it or something. You know, people's attention span ain't that long, so I can't be running these long, conversational type videos talking too much n about nothing, you know what I mean? But, um, just a uh, quick, quick run through of 2014 and updates for 2015. Um, 2014, my fighter of the year, I believe, would probably be Terrence Crawford on a, on a scale of accomplishments, uh, being in the public eye, doing, winning big fights, and, and looking good doing it. Um, other than that, um, you know, uh, this Pacquiao Mayweather negotiations thing. Um, because of statements made by Bob Arum publicly recently, I got to lean on Team uh, Mayweather all the way about this. Um, Pacquiao called him out via commercial, via international fight on a national and international scale. He called this man out. Um, basically saying, fight me, fight me, I'll fight you for free. Uh, so anytime a person says that, they don't even need to be a lengthy negotiation. If I say I will fight you for free, it, it shouldn't even matter what you offer. If you feel you're worth twenty million and I only offer you two million, if you'll say if you'll fight a person for free, charity, you'll take that two million and shove it up their ass. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. I mean, so you know. Got to be uh, people. Got to be careful what they wish for. Mayweather say uh, he get back on Showtime and nationally call him back out. Um, in my opinion, I felt like this fight is guaranteed. You can't do that. You cannot nationally call people and internationally call people out and say y'all personally want to go at it and then don't do it. You can't do that. That's like the Super Bowl teams just uh, retiring off into the preseason, like. No, you have to. The Super Bowl has to happen. This is the one game everybody wants to see. You have to do it now. So um, I feel like the fight should probably happen in 2015. Bob Arum is making me lean all the way on Mayweather's side because, I mean, Bob Arum, who is supposed to be respected as a very intelligent person, um, he says very slick shit and he's very clever in the way he talks. Um, you know, one of the reasons why he's he is where he is in a boxing game. Um being pretty much like the number one promoter in the U.S., he turns around and says, oh, uh, Mayweather wants to fight on Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that is a uh, Mexican holiday. Mayweather's been fighting on Cinco de Mayo almost every year for like the last decade. Come on, man. You can't name four times when Mayweather didn't fight uh, on Cinco de Mayo the last 10 years. That's crazy. That's your excuse? I don't think that's that's some bullshit. So Bob Arum threw that bullshit out. Then Bob Arum says, "Oh, we, we're looking at Danny Garcia." What? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, pardon my French, but get the fuck out of here with that. Are you crazy? If 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 Pacquiao fans want to see him fight Danny Garcia, screw you. <laughs> okay, that's some bullshit. That is bullshit. You don't get. You don't call a person out and say, uh, oh, now that they want to fight me back, we want to fight someone else. I mean, no, no, that is a, that is a violation, okay? That is a violation to every boxing fan. You don't do shit like that. You should retire when you start doing shit like that. Um, no disrespect to Andy Garcia, I don't want to see him fight Pacquiao. I don't. No. Um... What do I want to see? Uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, Danny Garcia, I'd want to see that. Terrence Crawford, uh, Adrian Broner, I'd want to see that. Adrian Broner, and any of the hot people in uh, in the light welterweight division area, I'd want to see that. Um, Terrence Crawford, them interchangeably, Amir Khan, all that kind of stuff. Maidana, you could throw all of them in that little bowl right there and those will all be interesting fights um in my opinion um for myself i want to say uh thank you to all my haters shout out to everybody out there man uh shit 
just about a year ago, a lot of people didn't even know me. Now, um, you know, uh, shout out to Brad Gumman. My name was in his mouth. Top rank, big dude. Um, shout out to Al Heyman. I, I just beat his fighter, and uh, I'm assuming he said he had, you know, he, my name might have been in his mouth at one point. Um, uh, shout out to Barry Hunter. Barry Hunter is the trainer of what's his name that I that I beat. Um, it, it was nice seeing him after a while. The funny thing was, I actually asked Barry to work with me. And I wanted to work with Barry Hunter. And um, he kind of like brushed it off to the side. I don't know, maybe I offended him when I told him that uh, I wouldn't let him down uh, like Lamont did with, against uh, Tim, Tim uh, Bradley. But um, I really don't know. I can't speak on all of it. I don't got nothing negative to say. But, you know, I felt kind of like, you know, brushed aside. Like, uh, whatever, whatever. But I'm like, nigga, I can fight for real. I can fight. <laughs> but anyway, um, so uh, I'm starting out my my 2015 with a bang. You know what I mean? It's my first uh, scheduled televised ESPN fight. Uh Things well, ESPN shoots their fights live and national, so you know what I mean. You'll be able to watch it. Uh, January, if you're really, really interested, just holler at me. I'll put you. I'll give you the details. Um, but yeah, man, I gotta get out here and do this run in the rain and um, stay focused. Do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just hearing. I'm hearing a lot of people got my name in their mouth, man. And um, you know, it's 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 interesting to me. Like, you know, what I mean, like my own parents didn't really believe in me as far as fighting goes. Um, I just really didn't like my family. Like, I really didn't have nobody who really had like faith in me. You know what I mean? Say like, oh, you can do it. You can make it. You know, people have push behind them. I didn't really have much of that um, at all, actually. <laughs> so. Um, my sister wanted me to go be an attorney, uh, my dad wanted me to do some, uh, my mom wanted me to, like, nobody wanted me to really box, no one, no one really thought anything of it, really, as far as my fighting goes, so, you know what I mean, the fact that I got some of the biggest players in the game talking about me, um, uh, makes me feel kind of good, you know what I mean, my record to me... I, I understand it. At first, it, I was real depressed because I felt like I was the type of person that would go undefeated. Um, my amateur career, I didn't really get to have one. I didn't have no back end, you know what I mean? Uh, I was like 13-2, and two, something like that. And then I just decided to just go pro. I had a fight out in D.C. as an amateur. I just wanted a pretty belt that they had on the line. Uh, boxing around the beltway, whatever it was, whatever it was called. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long story short, um... I think it's going to be a good year next year, man. It's going to be a good year. It's my year. Um, I'm going to make something special happen. Um, so stay tuned. And uh, holla at your boy. It's the boy Lucky Luck, the lover boy. I'm actually going to start recording uh, my advice for uh, for people, like my love advice, romance advice, you know what I mean? Like sex therapist type stuff. Like I believe that's my real calling in life. Like boxing to me, this is just easy. Like I just love... I just like it, you know what I mean, and I'm good at it, so I do it, and I feel like I'm better than people who are making a whole lot of money at it, and since I'm better than them, I might as well go do it too, you know what I mean, and if you look at my record and you think, oh, you can't fight, oh, you're not that good, no, you're fucking crazy, like, if I was on the A side and I had judges and referees leaning towards me and breaking stuff up in my favor and helping me out and lifting me up, whatever the ground, all that kind of shit, calling my knockdown slips and, and, and my head butts, letting them go and all that kind of stuff, if I had that on my side, I'd be undefeated easy but you know a lot of people don't know much about boxing so whatever politics play a role politics play a role um but uh i won't let that be an excuse man i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna fight through all of it and uh you know sometimes you get a fair shake you know what i mean and uh new york is one of them states where you get a fair shake so whatever but i will holler stay up everybody it's your boy lucky like